okay let's start the single implant planning case with blue sky plan software you can see we have two data lower arch upper arch in intraoral scan and the CBCD scan so you always need these two three files okay patient scan and the intraoral scan so you need to open the software from the search box or if it is already installed in the software you will see there in the task panel you just search as blue sky plan double click on the software or single click on the software okay one software is open you will need to drag and drop the dicom file you will need to drag and drop the intraoral scan one by one you are see we am just trying to drag and drop this file in implant planning to surgical guide you are not going to use any other module now next program will be there medium maximum quality just save this file in medium quality there will be checkbox erroneous data just hit it ok and you are done software will load the city scan because we need to first load the city scan first orientation box will be there you just click ok and just wait for some time software will load the entire screen five screen will be there so you see 3d window is there okay pan view is there for panoramic view axial slice is there cross section is there and tangential window is there so right hand side you have the surface panel tooth panel model manipulations panel guide panel all the panel that you need to take the actions if you don't get the panel you just go to the panel in the options from there right hand side you have the program to switch the software from model master advanced and denture so then you have the main screen there you need to understand all the hotkeys shortcuts right click left click of the mouse to zoom in and out then go back to the folder you just need to drag and drop all the intraoral scan to get the superimposition done rightly First, we are trying to drag and drop the upper arch scan. You just need to drag and drop and load there, and AI will superimpose it for you automatically. Now, software AI will ask you if it is a maxilla or mandible. You just need to click on maxilla, or if it is the mandible, you just need to click on mandible. Now, you see this is the maxillary arch. Simply click on OK. AI is trying to superimpose the intraoral scan. Stay tuned, wait for some time, and you will see in the 3D screen that intraoral scan is loaded by AI. What you just need to do, you just need to select the maxilla and mandible. You see it is there, so it is superimposed the upper arch of the intraoral scan. Okay right hand side in every corner of the screen you have the options to maximize the window be it 3d screen or be it pan view or be it right hand uh, be it any other screen okay same cross section exit slice and the tangential window holding the right click of your mouse you just zoom in and out to maximize the screen right hand side top corner you have the short key to maximize right hand side again you have the panel you see the city surface you to hide the city surface you check the visibility off okay you just need to learn how to use the right hand side panel hint visible all this program to see there in the 3d you can see the outline in the excel window to understand the superimposition quality accuracy of the outline of the soft tissue okay you find the landmarks reference point of the soft tissue and see the alignment once it is done i think we should need to drag and drop the opposite arch same you need to understand the screen five screen you have pen view cross sections all these things let's drag and drop the lower arch you just need to drag and drop and release the mouse there in the software anywhere AI will again try to stitch 
the intraoral scan you need to select if it is the mandible and maxilla you need to click on it click ok and you see AI is trying to superimpose the file once again for the lower arch you see superimposition is done in three and you see the scan is open by scan right we need to bring the opposite arch into the occlusions okay there is also we have the ai program in the software if you already have done this registrations of the byte registration there in the intraoral scanning time now in the right hand side model manipulations program will be there you are trying to manipulate the op opposite arch that means upper arch because we are going to plan for the implant for the lower arch only so i'll select the opposite arch there with the two model program i can align the byte registrations okay so i'll just select the upper arch two model and i'll select the lower arch and you will see upper arch will be brought to the lower arch right now occlusion is defined now why we need to define the or definitions of the occlusion just to map the future tooth right so there i'm done with the occlusions uh, by registrations using two model from the model manipulations okay now you see find where you would like to place the implant so we are planning for the third quadrant molar tangential one window also you can see the outline there okay so now you see this is the uh, regions where we'd like to place the implant you have the ai tooth in the ai tooth you just select the ai tooth surf ai tooth mapping program and uh, select the molar or any particular tooth that you need click ok and click there exactly in the edentula side so that ai can superimpose or load the tooth for you precisely in the side You need to wait for some time until the AI load the particular tooth. You can do it do it for the multiple multiple tooth or multiple side one by one. Just clicking on the shortcut from the add tooth. don't click anywhere in the software until you are done with this process or software will get freezed now you see it is done tooth is loaded right now what is the next job uh, is just place the implant validate your abutment profile through the crown and you are done to design surgical guide only you will need to switch the software to the advanced module advanced module to place the implant okay there is a nerve program is also there in the shortcuts only only add nerve is there where you can click on the automatic nerve and ai will draw the nerve for you you see it is there now what is there data loading stage is completed you just need to place the implant now you just need to switch the program to the advanced and in the advanced panel you just need to place implant switch the software to the advanced set your screen pan view 3d we switch the software to the advanced now and in the short key shortcuts you will get the add implant icon visible there okay plus implant so you just click on the plus implant from there
plus implant means add implant you just click on the add implant okay software will give you the entire list of the implants okay you can click on the lift implant libraries there you can select any implant that you use for your practice okay uh, same there you just click on the implant any implants we are planning for the ostem implant there i'm selecting the ostem implant so there is a program for the maxilla and mandible you select the particular arches and right hand side you will see the diameter occlusal diameter and the length 3.75 by 10 mm or any any sizes you just carry or select and using the custom abutment program you just take a longer abutment just to see the emergence profile of the abutment okay now first implant should be placed there in the pan view was once implant placement is done side validation is done then you cross sections you just give the buccal and lingual angulations or buccal and lingual movement okay same in the 3d you just see what is the emergence profile you are getting and same in the pan view again you have the opportunity to just move mesodistally the movement of the implant and then mesodistal angulations if you'd like to give there in the particular osteotomy mesodistal angulation is given right going back to the other screen like 3d and the cross sections you validate again if the implant precisely there in the bone now after moving buccal and lingually we know that we can go with the larger size so you just need to right click and replace the implant or right hand side the replace options will be there now you find a wider diameter implant by 5 mm by 10 mm or any size that you think that it is right for your bone okay you simply replace the implant just click ok software will change the size of the implant you see 5 by 10 mm implant is done now if you see in the 3d also emergence profile is can be appreciated it's good enough you see mesodistals movement mesodistals gap intermal inter interproximal gap buccalingual gap okay it's good enough in the tangential window you just need to keep scrolling there is a measurement tool is there if you want to do the measurement you can use the measurement tool to see the proximity you have okay you see the emergence profile it is good lock the implant if you think it is good to go to design the surgical guide hide the tooth in from the short key okay then just check the guide tube that you know guide tube is the main program once you decide the surgical guide needs to be designed you need to select the drill kit from the guide implant panel and then check the guide tube on validate your guide hole diameter and the offset okay once guide hole diameter and offset is validated go to the guide panel first select the path contact surface once contact surface has been selected define the path of insertion of your surgical guide from the right hand side panel set the screen as per the path of insertion you want click on the define path of insertion as per the view and just click on the automatic curve to let the ai design the guide for you automatic clicking is done wait for some time to see the shape of the outline shape of the curve of the surgical guide and you see in image 3d conversion there is a train line behind the office so you will always find this noise in our video of indian railways you see the big noise is there don't worry about it and just click on do nothing i got covered okay if you are manipulating these things from your and just outline the dots of the surgical guide throughout the tooth surfaces set the curve as per one fourth of the tooth surfaces okay make sure your surgical guide should not be end there in the interdental space
the the curve and if, if you are placing somewhere anywhere it is okay because you are defining the path of insertions anyways you are not going to be wrong in designing guide because AI take care of lot of things if you follow the instructions of the AI once outline is covered you just need to hit on create surgical guide and your guide will be there in few minutes few seconds however your processor and computer is faster as per the software so you will see the 3d surface of the surgical guide there in the 3d window once the guide design is done you go to the surface panel and see your surgical guide stl file you can export that stl file of the surgical guide from the software for 3d printing you see it is there you can write the name you can create window right clicking on the add window program right click on the 3d and windows will be there you can click again the create surgical guide with the name if you want to place one name embos one name there in the surgical guide patient name or your clinic name or the part number you just simply click there <coughs> right there in the text box we have in the guide panel and click again there in the create surgical guide done so your surgical guide is with windows is there thank you